Hey guys, here is a beautifully fitted tunic with a lot of detail around the neckline. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your basic t-shirt pattern into this fluted hem style. The putting together of this tunic is quite complicated around the neckline, but the rest of it is quite simple. If you wish to learn how to finish the neckline, then you can do so by accessing my paid channel. All intricate details I'll be sharing with you on my paid channel. Links and details are below this video. Let's get started with the changes we need to make for the pattern. For a pattern drafting of this particular camisole with the neck detail, what I have done is this is the front of a basic t-shirt and I have copied the front pattern exactly as is. We don't need back pattern, we only need the front because the front and back are going to be the same. So let me keep my original aside and we're going to work on this drafting. Okay, the front neck depth we have already determined if you want it any deeper because this is a camisole, if you want it to be deeper than your neckline, just go ahead and mark your deeper neckline. But I'm only going to mark about like an inch under this mark because I don't want it to be too deep so that's where my neckline is going to be because remember about this the neck detail of the bias binding is going to be there so your neck is going to be higher however this is going to be kind of transparent in between all the bindings that we're going to attach okay so from the shoulder I'm going to go and mark about five and a half inches no matter what your size this is absolutely fine and then we're going to go and attach this in a gentle curve like so so let's go ahead and attach it in a gentle curve properly like that and for the armhole we need to take about an inch inside here because we're not attaching the sleeve for this so this is more of a camisole top so when your bias binding is going to sit like a spaghetti strap it's going to go and sit there okay so just go ahead and mark this and take it to the side seam like that okay so that is all we need for this pattern now for the bottom of the top what I want to do is I'm going to take about eight inches wide this is from your side seam to there and um, from here I'm going to mark another six inches so this line is six inches lower and eight inches away okay so basically what I want to do is from this length I just want this to go like that it's almost like a fluted kind of effect and from the waistline I'm just going to go and attach that so that way this is kind of going to go droop around in the side the pictures you've already seen so that's all we need this is the same for the front and back if you want the back to be slightly longer then when you're cutting it you can take the back a little bit longer like that so you can mark it anyway so let's just go ahead and cut this and then that's the pattern making done I'm gonna cut this slightly longer at the bottom here um, I'm gonna cut the front shorter when I'm cutting the fabric okay this top part what I normally do I'll still keep it I'm just gonna cut the neck like so because you don't need to go for deeper neckline uh, this is only like a template when you start attaching your shoulder strap this will act as a template because this is the pattern that we have cut out of so don't you know don't throw this away just keep it until you finish your top so there is your pattern for the front detail top and uh, with a fluted hem and let's go ahead and see how to make the top now you also notice that I haven't added any seam allowance for the top usually when you cut out a piece out of a pattern you need to add seam on either side now I've not added seam on this side simply because we're going to bind this on the bias binding so that's going to add your seam back to where it was before so we're not going to lose any 
amount of fabric at all.